Okay, these guys can be louder than a lawnmower, which is pretty loud if you consider the fact that they're just small bugs. Millions of cicadas have emerged from underground in the Midwest and the South, and they are taking over. The whole time you're, you know, slapping them off and whatnot. I went, <gasps> one flew right, right down my throat. It was, oh. it wasn't fun. It was kind of gross. But. Oh my gosh, that poor man. Okay, while some people are clearly over them, like the guy who swallowed one, they've also become a little bit of a tourist attraction. They're only around for six weeks, and this natural phenomenon only happens every 13 to 17 years. We won't see any of them in our backyard. Brian Hackney explains why. The big bug boom was in full swing this spring for parts of the South and Midwest. But in California... Crickets. How come it doesn't happen here? Nobody knows. The only place in the entire world that has periodic cicadas is the southeastern United States in the Midwest. This is Professor Lynn Kimsey. We're heading down the hall to the Bohart Museum of Entomology. She's just retired as the director of the museum, which contains... Anything that lives on land that doesn't have a backbone, basically. So insects, spiders, mollusks, things like that. Lynn was bitten by the bug bug long ago. I got my first butterfly net at the age of five, and it was kind of downhill after that. <laughs> Bohart has seven million insects. In here in the museum, there are three illegal words. You, yuck, and gross. As for the emergence of all those cicadas back east... I'm staying inside. I don't like to hear all the noise. It's deafening. It's a lot of hyperventilating over something that's spectacular, but they don't do any damage. My house was covered about a week ago. I mean, the, the adults don't even feed. They are only coming out to find a boyfriend or a girlfriend. That's it. The Brood X eastern cicadas live underground, feasting on tree roots for 17 years. And then on some unknown signal, they emerge, shed their shells, and make their presence known. Why do they make that noise? Ah, that's the boys calling the girls. It's a, it's a dating app. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, things are, life's pretty simple when you're an adult insect. Find a mate, mate, lay eggs, die. <laughs> The loudest cicadas are found in Sydney Harbor in Australia. They are louder than a jackhammer. The whole world has one kind or another. This is quite lovely. These are cicadas from China. We've got cicadas too. Ours are mostly just black and brown. <laughs> and while they come out annually, they are doomed to the same fate as the eastern cicadas once they emerge. They're probably bird food and mouse food and <laughs> in some places people eat them too. Chocolate-covered cicadas. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't spend the money. Uh -uh. No, why ruin chocolate that way? <laughs> For the insects, all that's left Oops. is a shell of their former selves. And the professor does have a plan for those. Talk to a couple students about making a sculpture out of these. Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> you have to have fun with this stuff, you know. <laughs> as long as they're doing it and not me. Uh, this year, an even rarer phenomenon, two different broods with different emergence cycles surfaced at the same time. That hasn't happened in 221 years.